Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here and today we have a very special video in store for you all and if you might notice behind me we have Eternal Evolution. Now some of you may remember that I did cover Eternal Evolution on this channel way back in April when the game was a lot newer. Now we're going to be taking a look at it once again but they have a very interesting event going on right now. They were doing a, a little bit of a collaboration event uh, alongside Ghost in the Shell SAC 2045 especially for those of you who might be familiar with the Ghost in the Shell series. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at this collaboration event. We're going to be kind of going through the the game just more broadly for those of you who you know weren't around to watch that video back in April and so we'll get a good idea of what Eternal Evolution is all about and what to expect and we're going to cover some of the collaboration event details or the the gameplay with regards to that and we're going to cover that all in today's video as well so uh hopefully you'll stick around and come along for the ride so if you're ready to go let's boil this down Now, first off, what is Eternal Evolution? Now, this is a sci-fi, idol, hero collector, RPG game uh, that, you know, is, is not so much different in a lot of ways from Marvel Strike Force, just in a different kind of style. So, first off, the idol portion of the game. What does that mean if you haven't played idol games before? You know, for example, that's why it wants me to click on this button. So, when I click on this, it shows me all of the rewards that I'm going to be able to collect because it's on a basically a 24-hour timer. So, you see here up at the top, there's resources that you're able to collect uh, essentially every 24 hours. Now, if you go beyond that, it, it kind of gets wasted. So, you do want to log in at least once a day to be able to collect this you can see that this is the amount of stuff that I'm going to be able to collect right now so tons of gold and tons of boosters and experiencing and and actually premium currency as well uh, and other stuff that you're going to need for uh, this game and gear too on top of everything so I'm going to go ahead and uh, claim that and you can see that I just gained a lot of resources as a result of that now there's other things as well that you go uh, you can actually get some kind of like basically free rewards once a day as well so that's really nice there too the great thing about this is that you know when you play eternal evolution you can kind of play when you want to play you know unlike some other games where you know you're you're kind of meant to log in at certain times to claim free energy or whatever the case is in this game it's not like that idle games kind of you know you're you, they want you to play once a day and of course that's probably best uh, but you can decide when you want to play and that's the idle nature of it hence the you know idle rewards and things like that so uh, just going over that really quick and of course being a hero collector game you know there's a whole slew of different heroes that you can choose from in this game now eternal evolution has three different major factions called the terrans atlas and uh, wenfear i think uh, and so there's about 30 or so characters per faction and you can see them they range in, in different uh, quality of characters so in this game we do use that system uh, where you know the, the top or like what would typically be sort of legendary characters they're called triple s characters and there's a whole uh, different uh, ranking system related to these characters here as well that you can kind of take a look at and uh, atlas over here i don't have very many i i've been playing a little bit but uh, yeah i only have maybe about 10 or so uh, of each and then of course we have the brand new characters as well uh, that are going to be for this collaboration event so they're listed under the time travelers Motoko Kusanagi and uh, Bato uh, they're from the Ghost in the Shell series so they're going to be here that you're going to be able to unlock and we're going to take a look at that as we go through the event but they do have some pretty cool animations here that you can kind of check out and, you know in game they got little cutscenes for each of the characters and it's pretty cool they shows off their skills their kits basically and uh all of that here the triple s characters you can kind of see what their main focus is my frame's a little bit in the way but anyways uh, matoko is based on crit and aoe damage you can kind of see there and bato is which my, my frame's gonna block that too charge and regeneration this is down here in the corner uh, that's kind of the classes that he is there they're both triple s characters so just getting that out of the way there uh, those are the two there's going to be two more though so this is just the first part of the collaboration event that's going on right now uh, this is the first half as of recording this anyways uh, depending on when it goes live uh, on the channel of course there may be the the second half may be live already and that's going to contain two more characters as well uh, as part of this event so keep that in mind depending on when you're watching this video so let's go and check things out a little bit here and i want to go the soul incursion that's the name of this collaboration event here. 
it says time left 18 days and one hour as of recording that now this is typically going to run until the end of october here so october 26 that you can see here these are the other two characters in the back that aren't quite out yet um and you can see them here and you do get a triple s ravina absolutely free here uh, as part of the campaign as well now some of the most important things that you're going to want to do during this event of course is going to be your logins uh, your daily logins are going to be really important and if you're jumping into this game a little bit later on uh, don't worry about that because you can actually make up your login calendar which is really interesting and i've not seen i don't think i've really seen this in any other game so if you do happen to miss it you do need to ante up a, a little bit of premium currency to be able to claim this uh, that being said you'll kind of start uh, wherever you have happen to be when you first start playing the game or or your first login so I guess they call it the they call it a makeup thing it's very specific to this game I haven't seen it in other ones that I played anyways and so how you're gonna be able to get some of these characters to start you can see down at the bottom there's actually a login streak here so on day two you are actually I can click on that and you do get a uh, Vato actually free from the login calendar now you do get a dupe version of him in 28 days you know down here uh, but yeah and then over across through the different login campaigns you're gonna get a variety of different recruitment uh, they're called soul memory cards Cards, and so they're basically recruitment passes for summoning uh, that you can use for this collaboration event. You can see them also scattered in the login calendar here too at uh, I think that's day, day four, which I'm going to need to make up, and then day eight. Uh, this one's coming up for me tomorrow, and then they're just scattered throughout the login calendar here. So we'll just we'll start off, I guess, by by doing that. So that's one of them right here. Now I'm probably not unless I get super lucky. You know, I'm probably not going to get it on the first go. But this is how you're going to get one of the free characters for the collaboration event. The other ones you're just going to need to log in a little bit more in order to get the. It says I'm missing something. Can I? Oh. I can get oh I can get back to it right now yeah because I just uh, claimed the so when you claim when you back claim the login calendar that actually goes towards the streak down below so that's pretty cool so I might be able to use some of my premium currency actually to do a few more of them I'm wondering if I can get this up to seven so I can get some more pull tickets uh, for us to maybe see if we can get Matoko out of this so that's day six day seven then we can collect these three now that gives us a little bit more so i wonder whether or not we'll have a chance for that so you can see it here on the side collaboration recruitment there's also a collaboration shop where you can buy a lot of resources but for the purposes of this to get motoko uh, you're going to need to get her at least i believe through the collaboration recruitment so we're going to click on that and you can see her fo featured here alongside Vato if you want some extra versions, um, extra copies of him as well. And so we're going to give this a shot. It says it's a guaranteed elite in every 30 recruits, but if you recruit, uh, if you use 60 of these though, you're guaranteed to get a triple S hero. Now, most likely you're going to want to use that on Motoko because you can already get a free Vato anyways. So that makes the most sense to me. However, we're going to give this a shot because you never know, right? You never know if we're going to be lucky. So let's see if we actually have a chance to get her unlocked or not. No. Okay, we didn't get that one. Now, I mean, of course, I don't really expect it here. Let's try again. Uh, we got Jericho. Bardeen. Nero. One more. Hand. Okay, so no Motoko, unfortunately, but we do get some additional rewards. Uh, rewards obtained. Uh, soul data fragments can be used to redeem rewards from the collab exchange shop obtained by performing collab recruitments. Okay, cool. So we'll take a look at that uh, that shop actually just to see. So it seems if I get 120 of these, then I can get a free. I think that is that a free a free unlock for for them. So I guess that's. You should be able to get a free one though every every 60 of these pulls anyways but it seems like you can get an extra version of them if you have about 120 of them so uh yeah that's interesting there now there's a special boss for this collaboration event called sight and he's a giant they are a giant robot head that's what it looks like to me and it's a giant mega boss challenge essentially and what's cool though is that depending on how well people do globally there's a variety of free things that you can claim here from the milestones. I actually accidentally did this earlier on today uh, when I was just browsing around, but you can see that there's there's basically different things that, they're, they're, they're what appears to be like a global milestone. So as long as that's passed, 
because you know I haven't done anything myself so cool we get to collect some free resources that's really nice there here now I don't know how well this is gonna go though so I haven't I haven't played in a little while they're level 35 to 40 <laughs> I don't know what what this is designed for in terms of levels so we're gonna give this a go <laughs> we're gonna see here all right can we that being said, you know, hey, we get to do some damage, and I'm really happy about that. The graphics are the graphics on this boss are really cool. I actually like I, I it's really engaging here, and I love when they have like these big giant boss battles, but they actually look good, of course, too. And so it looks like they really really put a lot of effort into this collaboration event with this uh, you know this mega boss here to fight. It's, it's honestly pretty cool and and very unique. So it's a lot of fun here. I think basically you just want to push out as much damage as possible in the time limit, and looks like I did about 230,000, uh, 203,000 damage, and uh, that's obviously going to be a little bit of a high score for me, but I did pass a little bit of a milestone. So what do we get as a result? Well, we get uh, some mission clears here, we do get spend one security, so it's a bit of a thing like that, and what is it this? Collab pass points, okay, so 100 collab pass points. And it uh, looks like there are some achievements that you can get as well, just by uh, reaching a variety of high scores, which is pretty cool. And you get some daily missions just for trying this, uh, so that's really nice too. So the story. So there is there is some story here, and it looks like down below. Again, sorry that my frame cuts off some of this stuff, uh, but you can get a triple S bato as well from uh, just clearing these stages. It seems this is zero out of eight clearance rewards. So maybe if we clear some of this and also oh, some first time rewards for some more, more pulls. So that's really nice too. So I guess like as you go along through the story, then you should be able to get this as well. So that's pretty good level 30. So it looks like that's kind of where it starts then for this collaboration event that you want to be at least level 30 to be able to participate or at least to be able to do well. Tachikoma, that's the other character that's going to be in the second half of the uh, the event as well, the collaboration event. So that's pretty cool. For the purposes of this though, uh, we are going to, we're going to skip an event. We get to, oh, we, do we get to try the new characters? That's pretty cool. All right. So let's give this a go. Oh, wait, am I supposed to use my team too? Maybe, yeah, am I supposed to use my, my characters alongside this? Probably a good idea. All right, let's let's add them in here. Over here. And uh, I think it's, it's five people. We'll just, uh, over here. And my commander. The sign. Okay. Okay. Wow, she just wrecked them. <laughs> All right, victory. Moving on, and we get some recruitment passes too, which is really nice. Maybe we we'll get to give that another go. All right, and we were able to clear chapter two of the story. Now, unfortunately, chapter three brings us to about level 60 enemies, and I'm not entirely sure that my team is up to snuff for this, but we did able to get, uh, since I cleared those eight nodes, I was able to get uh, another version of Vanguard Bato. Now, I think that's just an extra dupe for the character. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go back to our roster and we should be able to where's he at he should be at the back then i guess he'd be like level one now where is he where is he oh he's over here so there's two versions of him here i believe if i'm not mistaken there's a way that i can evolve him maybe? i think there we go yeah so basically you use dupes of characters in this game to upgrade them and it's going to give a significant stat boost to do this so we're going to do that Unlocks a new talent at the next evolution. So there we go. Uh, we oh we have to go to the evolve screen. So that should be fine. Oh please select. I think we have, do we have to use another character. We have to use an epic character. So we're gonna use one of our. Oh wait, do we? Oh input hero. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. There we go. There there is enhanced in there. You sure what? Yep. Yep. Cool. There we go. Upgraded. That's good. So now we have like a one star on him, which is really nice. And uh, we're gonna go back. Oh wait, can we have... no, we don't have another one, do we? No, we just have the one character. Okay, so we're gonna go back, and uh, let's upgrade him a little bit. Give him a. Sh How far can we go? Advanced, gonna upgrade. All right, getting getting ability upgrades. I think we should be able to go pretty far on him, actually. Level twenty. Come on, let's go. Can we go further? 
Level 30, level 40. It's gonna be my highest character. Level 56. Ah, uh, I was gonna say, you need to have at least five heroes of level 36 or above, which I guess I don't have. Some gear. I think he's gonna be my best character. <laughs> yeah, he is. What? Okay, let's level this guy up once. And then I should be able to get Bato up a little bit higher. No? Can I keep going? Oh, I see. Okay, so it's like kind of like an average level to get them up, so I won't be able to go up uh, too far, it seems here. But anyways, he's now become my strongest character on my roster, so that's pretty awesome. Really glad to have him on board. And honestly, the animation uh, is pretty smooth. It's, it's really nice looking. I, I, like, I like that they have this kind of cutscene in the roster screen. It's really nice here. So beyond that, you might ask, well, what else is there to do in Eternal Evolution? Well, let me tell you, there is a lot of different game modes, and we're going to give some of these a go. So, you know, there, there's some that I have unlocked right now, and some that I don't have unlocked, because I haven't played this game uh, for a little while. My account is not uh, as high level in the story, uh, but there there is a handful of different things here you can just see on the screen right now. But let's give uh, the arena a shot. It's been a little while since I've done some PvP. I'm rank 1847 apparently on my server. That's probably because I've not been on <laughs> for a handful of months here. You can see Ravina. Oh, this is Ravina with a skin. That's pretty cool there too. Let's see if I can use my my ba my bato and maybe attack one of these people here. My strongest character on the team. Don't let me down, Bato. Here we go. Oof. Did he just one shot them all? Oh my god! He's a hero! <laughs> wow, they just got wrecked. Okay, okay. So that's Arena. That's some PvP game mode. You guys are probably very familiar with Arena. You know, it's, it's not that much different from Marvel Strike Force, honestly. It's a 5 on 5. Uh, and you have Arena defense and things like that as well that you can set up. So let's, let's go by and try something else. So we have Soul Mine. So this is like a tower mode. Pretty much, uh, from my understanding, is that you just kind of, as you go through and you play more, and you'll be able to complete a variety of different uh, challenges and also get a handful of different rewards. Oh, I forgot to edit my lineup because we need to add the commander. There we go. So Soul Mine is something that you can do daily, something that you can climb, uh, and you're going to get a handful of rewards for doing that. I think these ones are particularly pretty easy. You're going to get some premium currency for this as well, so the diamonds, which are premium currencies, that's nice to have. And uh, you climb, well, you're not climbing, I guess you're going down into the mines rather than going up, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's move on to Lost Valley. I'm not sure, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I've done this, actually. Oh, these are the boss battles, right? So uh, just like... Uh, you may there, there you may have played some other games that do have uh, giant boss battles. There was one for the collaboration event that we saw earlier on. Uh, I have two unlocked right now called Sincero Marsh and uh, the Disa Caves. So we're gonna go with let's go with Disa Caves and let's see if I can, you can see the boss's health bar up here, which is really cool. Uh, and you can see the different attacks that they do as well. And the game does pause actually when you click on that, which is nice. It allows you to read the different skills. Uh, so that uh, obviously when you're, you're playing more challenging versions of this, it's really important to do. Ah, uh, interesting. So I need to like hit this a certain amount of times before it's going to blow up. Oh, oh wait, no, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, he's 81,000. He's like over double any of my other characters in, in their damage meter. Oh, he... What?! Okay, well, I guess we didn't beat it after all. We need characters that can attack a lot faster, it seems, and we were not able to do that. So, guess, you know, damage isn't everything. We can go give a give Rift Fissure a go. Oh, we can't do that, actually. So, this is kind of like an open world. We can try this again, though. I can kind of share this with you guys. Uh, so we will start again. And Rift Fissure is sort of like an adventure mode style game. And this is quite unique too. Some games do have this, uh, but you know, Marvel Strike Force doesn't have anything like this. And it's basically like an overworld. And as we go through, it's a little bit of an adventure, actually. And so as we go through, we start over here. You can see my character, actually. And as we move along on the map, we get like a different thing. I can get a free character. It's pretty cool there too. And we can use them for the purposes of this uh, adventure here. And we can go through. This is designed for a bit lower level, so that, you know this isn't going to be very hard for me specifically. Uh, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. There's obviously some encounters, some enemy encounters on the map 
as you go through this. And, uh, you know, if I wasn't so high level for this one, it would be, you know, obviously a little bit more challenging than it is. But still, nonetheless, a very unique way to have a different game mode, and it gives you a different experience as well, which I think is really, really nice. So, go through it. And obviously there is, you want to get to the end, there's a big boss that you'll fight at the end. And you'll probably pick up some loot along the way, some rewards, you can see these different things on the map, which I suspect our rewards that's I'm pretty sure that's me I should go back and collect that one so you get items and different relics that'll look improve your stats as well during this so that's really cool so that's really neat you know I like that it has a lot of different game modes there's a lot of things to do and it seems like you know because I guess we're about six months on now since the last time I covered this I covered this in April now we're in October so we're in month so yeah, it's about six months since the last time I was on this game and you know There's there's just so much more to do in this game than I remember Honestly, and I, I haven't even like begun to cover everything because you know There's some things that I just don't have so there's just so many different game modes as you play through this lots of different things that you can do um, You know, I, I don't know what everything is, but you know, there's gonna be a lot of different game modes for you to play and uh, <laughs> I don't want to do this just now. And a lot of things to do in this game. Right, so what can I say about Eternal Evolution? That there's just so much more going on in this game. You know, there's a lot to do. There's a lot of content. Not, not to mention, of course, the event collaboration stuff that's going on right now. Which is a great time to jump back in. Get some free triple S heroes for your account. I mean, that's really amazing. And if you start a new one, of course, then you will have that grand ceremony event for you to be able to get Ravina absolutely free on top of Bato. And very likely you will be able to get the other characters unlocked as long as you're playing through the game and uh, logging in on a daily basis. So, you know, if you're looking for a new game that that's going to, you know, allow you to also play that you don't have to be super hardcore about. You know, this isn't something that you need to spend two hours a day on. You know, there is that idle nature of the game that we talked about towards the beginning where, you know, you just need to log in like once a day, claim your rewards, do a couple of things in game, and then call it a day. You don't have to do, use a crazy amount of time on this game to be able to, you saw that I was able to unlock the triple S characters within like, <laughs> probably could have done it faster, but because we were doing a video here, you know, like about less than 20 minutes honestly, to get these characters unlocked. So, you know, that really shows that they're really trying to think free to play uh, for these events, for these special events. It's really great to see, and honestly, really great to see them collaborating with Ghost in the Shell. A really great series. If you're not familiar with it, uh, it is uh, pretty cool. And it's been around for a while, actually. <laughs> this particular one is for SAC 2045, though. So, yeah, I mean, what can I say? Uh, there is going to be a free promo code as well that you're going to be able to plug in. So I'm going to leave that uh, probably somewhere up here uh, that you're in also in the description down below. There should be a QR code somewhere on the screen here too that you can be able to scan uh, as well to get additional bonuses uh, for starting the game. So definitely check it out if you're interested in giving this a go uh, after watching this video. And I think you'd absolutely should. So if you're looking for something new to play on the side uh, with Marvel Strength Force, because you know a lot of people here are probably playing as their primary game, this is definitely something that you can also play alongside that because of the idle nature of it versus Marvel Strike Force, which takes a lot more time to pay attention to. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. And until next time, everybody, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.